Hello everyone and welcome back guys to a brand new video where today we're here back with more Forza Horizon 5 this time around with episode 7 of our let's play here from dusk but still very very beautiful Mexico there you can see the volcano in the background but today that we're going to be jumping in with more of our let's play this time around we're finally going to head over to Horizon Apex and take on some road racing Tulum Expedition weather a storm on the road to Tulum let's wait and see I've, I've probably butchered that name horrendously there but thank you all so much for the continued support on the channel well no idea what we're going to see Ramiro try and do then but yeah thank you all as well so much for the continued support on the channel I see some of you guys are using the tunes everything like that it is greatly greatly appreciated as well but yeah let's head over then to Horizon Apex the last sort of different area we're yet to unlock on Forza Horizon 5, but we'll see what it's all about. As still just absolutely loving this Supra, just drifting it around. I thought we'd change it up a bit of a notch though and jump into the Apollo Atenza, but yes, yeah, so far Forza Horizon 5, I've been looking at some of the numbers for this game. It has been absolutely insane. At the time of recording this, it is now Tuesday, so the game has released to the general public as well there. And at a very minimum... This game has already grossed $70 million as well there. Before the game's even come out, it is... I mean, fair play to Playground Games in Turn 10. They have built an absolutely beautiful game as well. And they do deserve all the success they get with the Horizon franchise as well there. But, yeah, this game, I think, is absolutely insane. And a lot of people are going to love it. So, you know, if you're just getting into the Horizon franchise, definitely stick around as well. Of course, like I said, we always do setups, tunes, guides, everything like that try and help you guys out as well my top guide for today so far is don't do that uh but yeah obviously we, we always go through we're gonna go through more of the festival playlist and everything like that over the course of the game cycle so yeah definitely worth sticking around anyway basically now at the location for this horizon apex series let's see what showcase then they've got planned for us here today the tulum expedition i think i'm ready for this our final sort of showcase event if you will of Horizon 5, I think, but then of course we got bigger and brighter things to come still. Horizon Bravo Niner! This is Horizon Bravo Niner! Do you read me? Look to the sky! Follow me and keep up! Right, so Ramiro's decided he's gonna start flying a plane around. Oh! <laughs> There's, there's, there's a lot of anger in the weather over there. No idea why this is road racing if we're in a Ford Bronco, but okay, it's not exactly what I think is road car. The sky looks ominous, I think it's fair to say, as well, Ramiro, but yeah, I mean, the atmosphere on this game is absolutely incredible. Look at that in the distance. It's just so, so cool. But yeah, let's see what he wants us to do. There's a Ramiro just straight vibing in his plane. Looks like we've got the storm gun's attention. Got a bit of a drive then. Let's see the next one. We should be heading into the storm. A bit of rain is nothing to fear, my friend. The Maya know that too well. It is said that Jack straight's lining at the clouds and rain will fall. And you're doing okay up there? Don't worry. I am still in complete control. Yeah, I'll be honest, Rami, the way you're going around. Yeah, I wasn't convinced there with the way he was flying. There we go, there's Romero in the distance. Look, even the excavations are abandoned. An expedition to a lost city, rediscovered by you, Ramiro Ruiz Miron, and the Horizon Festival. They can't build a festival here, surely. Find somewhere to put the beacon. Do not let me interrupt your Mesoamerican history lesson, my friend. You can come and get me when you're ready. Right, so now we've got to try and find Rami 
as well. Then we've got a few objectives we need to complete as well before we get everything finished with him. Um, yeah, we got to find a location. we got to photograph the Jade statue. No idea what that is, but I found our first of the objectives. Obviously, we always go around trying to do all of these as well. I think I found just the place for that radio beacon. Right, we don't want to place the beacon just yet. We want to do everything else first. Is this the Jade statue? I'm guessing, yeah, this is the statue. So at least we know that now for good as well. We're picking up more achievements as we go. So, love that. But anyway, right, what's up next then? We've got to try and find a few more bits and pieces. Wow. Think I found the golden statue. Let right, are we, are we heading up here? Are we heading up here? I think, I think, oh, we, we were meant to be heading up here. Come on, Bronco, do something. Nope, we, we've managed to beat it. But we are now level 51. Um, yeah, we, we've completely beat the thing. I, I don't know, I don't know how we're meant to escape here. Right, let's try that again then, up the side of one of the temples. Right, we've found that. Right, we've... Oh, no, we haven't photographed the Jade statue. We've photographed a different one. So, right, we need to place the beacon and then, of course, find Ramiro as well. And we're still doing, you know, a little bit of exploration. Not the fact we can take down trees, but not just a random wooden structure as well. So, Horizon Pulse. Hope, hope you guys like my new crown as well. And my horizon top. Right, where is the other statue then? Just gonna keep exploring. Oh, there we go. Is that Ra Ramiro or is that the statue? There we go. There's the statue. Don't touch it. It's very powerful. Could you take a photo for me? We will definitely do that. There we go, both photos have been completed. That is a rather cool looking statue, I must add, as well. But, where is Ramiro then? Rami, I think he's... I think I found one of the statues. Right, so he's right at the far end again. So we did completely drive past the statue then. But we got to try and find... Oh no, we got to... Oh, you know, that is the last objective. Just got to try and locate where Ramiro's gone. As this is all very, very cool. Oh, 5,000 XP. That was an accidental good find. Guess we'll take that as well. But anyway, let's find Rami's plane. And let's exit out of here. Ah, there you are. Right. Let's push on to the coast. The storms can be bad, but the ancient peoples of this region knew the value of the rain... gonna guess we didn't want to do that but car still okay are you all right <laughs> I am fine I don't plan on being discovered here by the next archaeological expedition do you my friend no this place is definitely nicer without us let's get moving some of the roads might be blocked I'll navigate it looks like there's one way to the coast Part of the storm. You can handle this, my friend. I trust you. Do your worst. The atmosphere is so cool around here. Riders on the storm. Fear nothing. Like just all this rain, stormy conditions. I mean, we had a bit of it in Horizon 4 on like Fortune Island and stuff, but not like in the general game. Uh, just off road the Bronco still. I think yeah, I, I might have given it a bit of sick to begin with, but I think I'm happy I picked this thing. Okay, you can't can't do that apparently. I'll keep that in mind for the future. This doesn't seem like the most direct route in the world, but we won't worry about that too much. Going as fast as I can, Rami. We've taken the diversion through the swamp. 
Always got to try and find those cheeky little corner cuts as well. And then we've got to arrive in Tulum. Right, just... This thing is no slouch, it's fair to say as well. And it seems like we've managed to get out the other side of the storm. And I'm actually, I don't think butchering the name too badly. Tulum, even. Not Tulum. Where, where are these beaches? Oh, there we go. There's the beach. You know, I think this will be the perfect spot. I think you're right, my friend. Right, there we go. We have found Tulum. It's exactly what we needed. We'll pick up some more accolades and things like that as well. We're over 100,000 accolades as well on this game. We're definitely going to try and get as many as possible, but that's a lot of accolades. 6,750 means we've unlocked another Horizon chapter, and that's going to help us get a little bit closer there. We've also unlocked a BAC Mono, so thank you very much. And a Chevy Bel Air. So we'll take that. Thank you very much, game. You made it! No thanks to Ramiro, no? Welcome to Horizon Apex. Ready for my road racing program? Always, always been a fan of the road racing. I think this is only fair that we give this a go as well. They do a couple of races down round here, but yeah, we'll, we'll wait and see what she's got planned for us. This is what I've been waiting for, my friend. Now I get to see what you can really do. I always find it a bit weird, you know, that all these are so sort of far away from each other, as well as I just noticed. This, oh, we're still waiting for a couple of the barn find cars to come through, but what on earth is that? Uh, oh, it's an event lab one as well. Where do we want to go then? Do we want to choose our next Horizon adventure? Or are we just... Hey, Horizon Apex is our most advanced road race program ever. And it's right alongside the most beautiful beaches in the world. What fan is going to be able to resist that? Oh, right, I... Every racer who comes into the garage asks about you. I say you're coming for them next. <laughs> you should see their faces. Hey, Bro, Bess, I think we take on another adventure. You. When you have time. Let's do the Lucha de Carre Carreteras. Secure the blessing of Al Campion. That sounds like a good plan to me. We're, we're getting through these, though. We haven't got many to go on Horizon 5. Car wrestling at Horizon, and I'm stuck up in the operation center. Adding it to your schedule. Mexican car wrestling, eh? Not too sure what that's all about. But of course, yeah, we'll go through. I would have thought behind the scenes as well. Obviously do all the normal sort of races and things like that as well, of course, to unlock all the accolades that we need towards the end of the game. But yeah, let's see what they've got planned next for us then. I'm always surprised this Atenza's only got six gears. It desperately needs a seventh, it's fair to say. But it just grips through the corners. Got some wheel spins as well. Look at that. We, we should have been completely off into the forest there. And this thing just grips up still. This is insanely fast. Should we, should, we, should we do some wheel spins? We've got a couple of wheel spins to get through. What what have we going to win then? 100 grand? No. We're with an ice cream van horn. I could do with a Huayra. Not so much a 1969 Dodge Charger. But, I mean, it's another one to add to the collection. But we're getting through our car collection as well. But yeah, what have they got planned for us here? It looks like it's a story mode challenge. So we'll, we'll jump into this. Horizon story. Show me. Discover Luta de Carreteras. Rami wants to introduce you to someone very special. 147 for the three stars. This is El Campeón. One of the greatest Lucha de Carreteras fighters in Mexico. Señor Campeón, may I present the driver I told you about? Híjole, <laughs> that went well. Wait, what? That means El Campeón will train you. But you must prove that you're worth his time. I've got a car ready. Well, no idea what Ram has been snorting now to come up with this, but we're going to be taking a wrestler around with us. So we've got to stay above 130 miles an hour. Which should be fairly easy to get to in a car like this. 
lucha de carreteras is the latest evolution of lucha and racing. So, it is necessary to have El Campeón's blessing for the festival. Right, so 147 then is the time we need. Oh, we've got to try and stay above 130. This thing likes to four-wheel drift a little bit. But still should be a fairly easy objective. And another Horizon story we're going to have to go through in full at some point down the line as well. So obviously if you want to see me do full star runs of the Horizon stories as well, definitely make sure you click that subscribe button. Probably going to jump into those once I've sort of got through all of the last of the Horizon stories as well there. But, yeah, we're doing alright at the moment. There was potential for a shortcut there, but I think the game not wanting me to do that as well. Let's try and stay nice and smooth on the steering. Very, very easy just to let the back end of this thing kick out slightly. Of course, it has got dirt tyres on it as well. I mean, this thing's not slow. 140 odd miles an hour is by, yeah, no means anything to be disappointed with. That's about 250 kph if my maths hasn't failed me there. But yeah, a kilometre away though. We've got 20 seconds to find this last bit of distance. And we've just got to try and keep our foot to the floor as we drive back past the Apex Festival. Come on, 10 seconds. This one's actually going to be rather close by the looks of it then. Are we going to have enough? Are we going to be able to get that sub 147? It's going to be a 146.2. There we go. I'm not gonna like that that got the heart rate up a little bit there but it is still the full three stars and nice to see these challenges are getting a whole lot tougher as well but yeah like i said we'll definitely run through the rest of those uh down the line but where where do we head next so game wants me to jump through the rest of the story mode but i think we'll leave that for now where what what do we fancy doing next um do you want to just complete some objectives nearby? I think... I think, obviously, they want me to do the next El Campeon, which is actually quite a while away. Let's dive in. Let's do a street race, I reckon. Finish off the video with a bang. Um, the Wetland Charge Street Race. Not too sure what that's going to all be about. But we'll, we'll take out a different car for a spin. We'll see what we can do. Here we are, then, for the Wetland Charge event to finish off the day. Yeah, back in the BMW M5 that, of course, we built up for a video a couple of days ago. Setup, of course, still is online if it's something you guys want to check out. But, yeah, definitely this car was really, really good in the races we did with it. And slowly, you know, building up our garage, everything like that as well. But I think, yeah, we're definitely going to start going through more of the side quests in our spare time as well. As Come on, everyone just running a little bit slowly there. Love the Rothmans Porsche. Got to admit, absolutely, I'm a big, big fan of that thing, as long as he didn't try and put me into the back of... Was that an old old Jeep Wrangler? Something like that. I don't think it was a Wrangler, but I think it was oh, like a Cherokee or something along those lines. But, yeah, let's see what this thing is capable of. So you already did a bit of circuit racing in it, but taking it out onto the streets as well. You know, this thing is so stable and not the fastest down the straights, but certainly grips up through the twisties, which is obviously really, really important in these street races. You need a bit of flexibility with your car. You need to be able to dodge things that are heading towards you. And you need to be dodging trees, which which I haven't quite managed to do in that situation. Come on, this Rotten's Porsche. Absolutely love it, but he's he's testing my patience. There's no denying that. Because we've got one of the little Peugeots. What? He's just taking a swipe at me. What was that all about? Right, in towards the final third, then, of this race. And we are trying to close up to the top three, who are battling each other hard at the front of the field. We can definitely get a bit closer, though, I feel. we just got to make sure we keep this thing neat and tidy and get it to the line. Come on, we can't start losing races already. They got a little bit screwed, obviously, by all the AI battling each other as well. And just getting in our way. And, of course, that Peugeot that was telling him he's going to take swipes at me. But, yeah, not only a couple of corners to go. I don't think we've got enough in this thing at the moment. Not a good show for the BMW today. Yeah, in towards the final corner. It isn't quite going to be enough. We were definitely taking a lot of time out of them. But the driver tile's bullying me. Not not what we needed. I think, I think we might have to give this one another go and definitely try and get out towards the front. Must admit, as frustrating as it is to not win these races when the AI are trying to harass me, 
the fact that the AI and the driver tiles are now a much bigger challenge just does make this game a whole lot more fun for people like me that, you know, we, we like a bit of competition. We don't just want easy dubs each time round. I think I'm still running this on just the one below unbeatable, so I think it's pro, I want to say. But yeah, it is is a nice challenge, but sometimes it's just a bit difficult when three of the AI break away and the rest of them all just, yeah, try to try to bully you. And I call them AI because, I mean, they, they really are. They, this whole driver tarmalaki has never sort of made sense to me. Ah! BMW. Is that Porsche there? Just trying to send it. Is that a 924 or a 928, I want to say? It is a Turbo S by the looks of it. Very, very cool car. Oh, come on. We've got a huge run on them now. This is where this car really does come alive. Is It's the three off-roaders at the front of the field. So they definitely won't have enough grip. Oh, ho, ho. that was a bit squeaky bum time. But yeah, back them into the lead, though, of this race. That Bronco has really got some legs on it as well. We're definitely going to have to do a build of that thing at some point down the line. But yeah, this thing is mighty fast. My final corner then, and we've definitely put the BMW in a lot better light this time round. Managing to work our way to the front. And then down towards the finish line. We are going to finish the video on a high as well, which of course was the most important thing for me. Down towards the line. It's going to be another dub on the board, as I think we're about to rear end one of the AI. Nope, he's disappeared. Lucky for us. Well, there we go then, guys. That is going to do it for this episode of our Forza Horizon 5 Let's Play. Like I said, we really are now getting through a lot of the Horizon adventure there. We've got one more in the main stage, one more in the road racing, two more dirt, three in the Baja, and then two more in the PR stunts as well as one final one in the street scene. So we're probably going to get through get through a few more of the off-roady ones over the next couple of videos as well. But yeah, like I said, thank you all so much for continued support on this series. If you aren't already, do make sure you get yourself subscribed. And yeah, we'll be back very, very soon with more Forza Horizon 5 content.